live in Canada, but in my heart I am Russian. Don't know how I identify myself because Canadian is so different from Russian. They feel like the differences come from our childhood and the way we were raised. One of my Canadian friends told me that they feel like Russians are very straightforward. And let me show you something. This is a regular classroom in a Russian high school. This is a classroom in Canada. There's like 835 people in there. So literally, if they give you a chance to speak, you have eight seconds to deliver your thought. We are taught from our childhood to cut the bullshit and get to the point. And maybe that is why my email conversation with my strata looks exactly like this. This is what I emailed them. This is the response. That anxiety, just having to read that whole thing. And you know what I did? I went all the way to the bottom because I want to know the main point that they're trying to make. It honestly feels like in Canadian schools, the teachers were like, okay guys, anytime you're composing an email, you have to fulfill 72 lines. So on the last two, make your point. The other 70 has to be the sword bullshit that you're just putting in there. Canadian people are not able to deliver a thought without having to put you through their verbal diarrhea. This is an actual note that was posted on the doors of my building in Vancouver. This is how Russians would deliver the exact same information. I've been in car sales my whole life. This is how you sell a car in Russia. It literally says the make, model, year, mileage, and where the fuck the car is located. This is an actual post on a Canadian car selling website. If you wrote that thing in Russia, everybody would think you're not selling a car. You're trying to get laid. Canadians are too polite to the point where the rest of the world makes fun of Canadian people for being polite. I was babysitting kids of my Canadian girlfriend and her son is four years old. So he came up to me and he was like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. By the time he finally expressed a thought that he would like to use the washroom, he already shit his pants. Canadian people are too polite. I got in an accident in Vancouver. Just as I'm thinking, what is the heaviest thing I have in my car that I can hit that idiot with without being charged for an assault? He runs up to my car and he says, I am sorry. How can you say, hello, I would like to break your neck to somebody who just apologized to you? What's up with this sorry, Canadians? The only time a Russian person says sorry is when they're in a court convicted of a murder. They don't say that sorry to the victim or the victim's family, they say to their mother. I feel like Canadians lost the actual meaning of the word sorry because they say it 8087 times during the day. My Canadian ex honestly used to think that if he says sorry after all the fucked up shit he does, then everything is just gonna go back to normal. I feel like Canadians think that sorry is some magical word. Ex fucked your neighbor? He says sorry and boom, his dick runs out of her JJ and nothing ever happened. Canadians are too polite in anything they do. They're too nice. When COVID first hit, I got laid off my job. When that happened, my manager called me almost crying. They apologized seven times. They gave me this thick of a brochure to explain what my next steps are. They even felt so bad. Out of nowhere, we got this letter saying, hey, here's 600 bucks. You know how they lay you off in Russia? Hello, Maria. Couple of days ago, my husband came to work to say hi to me. And I noticed you were smiling at him extra hard. Therefore, you are laid off. I suggest you forget the address to this building and all the phone numbers if you do contact me. I'm going to make sure you are laid off from your life as well. Canadians are so polite, it almost feels like they're just indecisive. When I got laid off, my company did so much for me. Almost felt like they weren't sure if they made the right decision. Hey, Victoria, we're like so sorry that you're laid off. Oh no, that's okay, it's fine, I totally understand. 
Excuse me? Oh no, sorry. Like, you're still laid off. Okay, no, that's fine. I understand. Do you want me to come back? No! No, you're still laid off! Basically, if losing virginity had a slogan, Russian would be just do it. And Canadian? Closer to your dream. One step at a time.